I got a question that said people who go to Harvard Business School are overachievers and it doesn't matter where they go in life. How can I ever compete with such people? I had this question sent to me in my mailbox. A uh, very sad, very depressing question. So you know what? And this is for everyone who's applying to top schools and says, you know what? Can I even get there? How will I compete with those people? Can I ask you something? Have you ever wondered what happened to those toppers of your class? All the people that you admired in your life, maybe when you were a kid and people that you're not in touch with them, not in touch with right now. Where are they and what are they doing currently in life? You know, just by asking this question, I think you made yourself really small right there. And I really, really wanted to answer this question. I mean, I was really excited to answer this question because I think I really have to share a lot. Guys, internet is such a cesspool of humanity. You know what? Like, brother, you can take a second, find million evidences to make your small right away. Go anywhere across the internet. It's like the entire, you know, the entire limbic system of humanity is currently projected in, in this world in the form of the internet. And you can type so many things to make whatever impression you want of yourself right now. I want to tell you something. You remember mathematics, you, you're doing GMAT, so you know quant, set theory, in mathematics, two circles. Draw two circles, you know, one is Harvard MBA and the other one is successful people. One circle has all the Harvard MBAs in it and the other circle has all the successful people in it. Now pause this video and I want you to draw the Venn diagram. You know, like go draw it, really. Pause the video and really draw the Venn diagram. Now, I don't know what your conclusion is, but guys, you have to really get it. Not every Harvard MBA is an overachiever. Forget the admitted applicants. I am saying even after the MBA, not everyone can be an overachiever, right? Similarly, not everyone who is an overachiever is a Harvard MBA. The point that I'm trying to make is, first of all, it makes me sad that you have to really ask this question. Although it takes a lot of courage to openly ask this question, but it also tells me a lot of how you currently view yourself. And it applies to a lot of applicants. I, I can tell you, I can tell you one thing, my friend. At this stage, I think you don't think very highly of yourself or maybe you're at this stage of your life. And I'm sure you have gathered enough, enough evidence about this, this reality of yours. Maybe your marks in your school, your undergrad or a lot of things that you currently are doing. But trust me, you can actually change a lot of that starting today, right away. People are not overachievers. Just that some people know what has to be done what things do they want to complete in their life and they move forward towards fulfilling those. Simple. It's just that some people know what task has to be done. And the ones who don't know are simply not doing anything and not, not driven and maybe will be driven someday. You know, I heard it somewhere and I really like the definition of success. Success is nothing but a, a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Beautiful, right? Success is the progressive, progressive realization of a worthy ideal. And success and Harvard are not completely interdependent. Repeat after me. An MBA can only make you an MBA. An MBA cannot make you successful. Once again, an MBA can only make you an MBA and nothing more than that. How artificial would game, this game be if someone said, Hey, the, whoever will finish the finance book or this book on supply chain, will win and will be the ultimate winner. Such a stupid game, right? MBA is nothing but made up of these courses, network and all the things, but how artificial the game would be, whoever done this finance course most is the most successful person. Doesn't make sense. If you are keen on exploring top schools, the first step is to find out where you want to go in life and then look at these business schools as a means to an end and nothing more than that. I'm saying this knowing that I'm an MBA consultant and I have generated over 100 crores of scholarship, but I still refuse to acknowledge that success and MBA are the two sides of the same, same coin. It's not. It's a means to an end and nothing more than that. And in this context, if somebody comes to me and says, Hey, Jatin, I want to work on, let's say, work for one of the technology companies in a blah, blah position. And I want to study and groom myself before I start working there. That is where a B school comes into picture. That is all. And if you artificially plant that success game in it and says, huh, you know what, if I do all this, it also means it will make me super successful. And then you look at your past and then you say, you know what, 
but I have enough evidence that I, of knowing that I'm not successful. And there you go. You drop the game and the game in itself was so simple. That was going to grade school, studying some courses, working in a technology company because and, and uh, you know, maybe working in product management, these kind of things and just taking one step forward. That's it. But you made this game so tough because you added a lot of weight to these things. And this is what you do before you go and prepare for GMAT as well or any of the competitive examinations. See, there are certain factors for which Harvard will not accept you. For example, like your GMAT, GPA and various other factors you can explore in another video where I've talked about how to crack Harvard Business School. But if they will not, someone else will. And if someone else does not, then someone else will accept you. You just have to move forward with the game without unnecessarily adding too much weight to the word overachievers or success to it. You know what I mean? And listen, I also want to share this with you. A lot of times we get daunted by profiles on the internet. We look at fancy profiles on the website of these programs and, in iso and sitting in isolation, sitting in our room, we compare ourselves to them with them and then call ourselves very, very small. Guys, internet is like this huge cesspool of the entire humanity that it can be very easy for you to make yourself small right in one second. Behind the doors, once you get there, once you're done, once you crack a B-school, once you're really there, I'm telling you, a lot of people actually get shocked. People will be like, oh my God, how can this person get here? You, you look at some of your classmates and say, you know what, you are here as well. So don't look at comparing yourself theoretically. My suggestion for you is, you take your own baby steps. Start moving forward. Climb your own mountains and see where you're headed. I really hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next one.